Hello and welcome to Studio B to all of my 10 year old fans or hello and welcome to Studio B to all of the people that are buying books for my 10 year old fans. Quick backstory on this video, my brother Cooper is 10 years old right now and his best friend Michaela is also 10 years old and recently both of them just started getting into reading and I am proud to say that I am the big sister who has read almost every single book for that age group out there. So I sent my brother's best friend home with a huge stack of books and she was willing to help me out on creating this giant list of her and my favorites and my brother's. Here are the real 10 year old favorites. The Terrible Two. I picked The Terrible Two out for my brother because he is terrible. Just kidding. <laughs> I will just say that he acts a lot like the main characters sometimes, trying his best to prank and annoy me all the time. But these main character pranksters are far from what you would call average. They lay out the best plans and it is so much fun and I am so glad that they were able to love it too. Number two, Belly Up. I hate the cover. I hate the title, it's awful. When I saw this, I was like, ew, gross. Uh. But it's actually amazing. It's like Diary of Wimpy Kid, but with mystery and a zoo. And it's funny. I have a ton of books on this list to get to, literally a ton, so keep watching. Spy School. Oh my goodness, this is definitely in my top three. Spy School was my absolute favorite. I will give it credit as being one of the first books that ever introduced me into reading mystery. My brother's friend Michaela loved it so much. I have a quote from her right here. Brooke recommended a few books to me and I've loved them. Right now I'm in the middle of Spy School. It's my favorite so far. Spy School is about a 12 year old boy who is selected to go to a secret spy school. He finds out that the CIA is using him as bait to lure assassins. The author uses humor as he learns the skills it takes to stay alive. This book got me laughing with every chapter. Definitely recommend five Vs. This is literally exactly all of my thoughts from Spy School and it will be yours too. I swear you are going to love this. After my top three, I'm going to go over to classics. Matilda by Roald Dahl. I so related to this character when I read it. And the movie's great too. Holes by Lewis Satcher. Not only is this book amazing, but I still rewatch this movie with my friends. Holes is amazing as a chapter book because it introduces you to side plots and you get to connect the dots to find out where it's taking you in this story. This is a huge step up from chapter books with its complex plot and complex storyline. While not being too hard to read, this book is a roller coaster of mystery and fun. Frindle by Andrew Clements. I don't know why I liked Frindle so much. I think I read it in the third or fourth grade, yet the characters were lovely and the storyline of fame just kind of drew me in. The thought of him being able to change the world by adding a completely new word into it just kind of made me think that I could be that important one day too. And last in the classics is the series of unfortunate events. I am 14 and I have still reread this series again and again. I have rewatched the series on Netflix. I would die for these characters. It's dark. It's mysterious. It's unfortunate. It's amazing. And I would die for Violet and Quigley. These books are amazing and it's a really long series too. And then into the fun slash funny category. Diary of a Sixth Grade Ninja. No, it is not a ripoff of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I know there's a ton of them out there. I actually got this one as well on Audible. The best ones have a cast of people narrating instead of just one person. And this one is exactly like that. It definitely does the book justice and I would definitely recommend it. But if you have the hard copy too, even better. And now onto graphic novels. When I was 10, my favorite graphic novel was Geronimo Stilton. It's actually kind of in between a graphic novel and a book. A new one that came out, and I wish I had had this when I was 10, is the Babysitter's Club series in graphic novel form. You can see our review and skit on my channel. Next one is Roller Girl. I loved this book because I felt like this girl was so cool. Her friendship with her starts to drift apart especially when she joins a roller derby camp. But during this book, this girl finds herself and realizes that she's okay without her best friend. Crazy roller derby, getting in trouble, dyeing her hair blue. I thought this girl was crazy awesome. And for three more of my favorites at 10, Goosebumps. I survived dork diaries and that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. Shout out to 
each and every one of my 10 year old fans out there. I wish you all super happy reading and make sure to check these books out. You can find them either at your local library or on Amazon. Make sure to check online if your library is actually open or kinda open. Because it can look like your library is not open, where in reality you can actually order books online and pick them up there. Make sure to like this video if you're 10 years old or have read any of these books. See you next time on Studio B. Oh, and make sure to follow me on my Instagram. 